Hello, everyone. Good evening. Good to see you all again. I'm Sang Chol Lim, periodontist, private practitioner. I welcome everyone to the Dentium Live Surgery Show today. I'm really happy to join this event as a moderator. Today, Dr. Zhang is invited, same as before. He is showing implantation on upper anterior area with minimalism concept. These procedures will be introduced with various authentic techniques of Dr. Zhang. I hope this live surgery helping and improving you in your practice. Okay, uh, let's take a look at today's case. Today, the title is Upper Anterior Implant Placement with Minimalism. So, uh, today's patient, 77 years old male patient, already. Uh, in 2019, as you can see, he got the six implant installation already and another uh, lower uh, mandible, lower areas, edentulous uh, situation. So, uh, 2021, uh, this year in May, uh, he won't have a little bit stronger and stable support and uh, uh, retention on lower mandibular area. So uh, two implant with the ball attachment uh, systems are achieved, as you can see. So number uh, 34 and 43 areas installed with uh, dentium right system tissue level implant and connect with the ball attachment with uh, uh, 3D printing dentures and uh, he satisfied very well about this uh, procedure. So today a little bit more additional implantation uh, will be planned about number uh, 36 and 46. For this area, uh, gave uh, him a stronger support and retention as a uh, uh, full uh, edentulous areas, actually uh, uh, denture, full edentulous areas with a denture uh, patient. In future, actually, uh, this patient will be planned about the transforming the fixed uh, dentition with the implant supported prosthesis on mandible. Uh, what about the upper uh, maxilla? Uh, already extract about upper anterior uh, teeth, uh, 2021 uh, September, uh, due to a periodontally compromised problem. So uh, this is a CT scan, Combim CT view, uh, number 11 area, extraction socket uh, will be seen, and uh, number 12 areas, uh, actually, this area is already uh, the panic areas, actually uh, the healed site, right? So number 13 uh, have a little bit bigger uh, bone defect. And 21 area, uh, normal socket areas, uh, we can see these areas also very nice for implantation. About number 22, uh, socket extraction site and have some uh, small defect, it is possible to implantation uh, with a minimal bone grafting. About 26, uh, 23 area, number 23, have a big defect, but it is a contained defect, so it is not so uh, bad situation. So after extraction, intraoral uh, view, num uh, 2021, September this year, after one week, one week after extraction. So socket uh, is going to heal, healing. So a uh, patient got the S6 retainer during the healing period, as you can see. So today's surgery plans are as follow. First, upper maxilla, number 12 and number 22 area, implantation with bright implant bone level system uh, with a minimalism concept. 
Uh, what is minimalism concept? A minimalism concept means uh, to minimize the number of implant and maximize the effect. So already installed uh, six implant, both of maxillar and premolar area, as you can see. So uh, the Dr. Zhang uh, planned about this upper anterior area, uh, minimize the number of implant fixture, and in future, uh, connect with already installed implant with a panic or uh, some uh, extended uh, cantilever bridge. About the 36 and 46 implantations uh, already installed, uh, number 43 and 34 areas also uh, gave him bigger, stronger, bigger, stronger, and power holding uh, lower denture. In future, I already mentioned before, uh, transforming to fixed uh, dentition, uh, implant-supported fixed denture. Uh, this one is a similar case. So, uh, as you can see, very thin layer, very thin remnant of the bone upper anterior. So, in this uh, sort of this kind of case, uh, strategic implantation is very important factor to reduce the number of implant and the, with the minimalism concept. So, uh, select the wider uh, bone bed area with the implant and another big defect with the GBR procedure and also simultaneously implantation. So, uh, finally, uh, this patient got the two implant on upper anterior. Uh, with, uh, this one is uh, the NTI system. It means bright tissue level system. So, uh, finally, as you can see, uh, uh, six uh, prosthesis, upper six uh, uh, prosthesis, uh, supported by two implant. It means minimalism concept. So today, we can see clear what is the minimalism. So Dr. Zhang is showing to us about this minimalism concept. So. Uh, uh, actually already uh, previous installed implantation, how can connect with each other already installed and uh, new implantation fixture. It is a key point of the viewpoint. So another uh, similar case, actually this one is finally all uh, extended, all the uh, connected with the three implants supported uh, fixed bridge, long span bridge, splinted bridge uh, installed and achieved for the patient. Okay, so uh, let's move to the surgery room. I think uh, Dr. Zhang is already read, already uh, prepared for the patient. Okay? Yeah? Yes, it is. Very nice to meet you. 안녕하세요. Uh, and, Dr. Zhang, please. Uh, we have a f yes, uh, uh, yes, uh, yes. Today we have a we tried to place the two implants in the upper anteriors, and because the, after the obdentures, the patient choosing the put so well, so uh, so finally upper anterior tooth have some problems so uh, became to be loss of the upper anteriors. So. Uh, we have a friend to place the implant in the upper anteriors. But very fortunately, posterior, posterior is a temporary crown, so we can place the two, with the two implant and making a bridge together. And there is a various prosthetic options from the separation in the three part or uh, uh, is anterior to the uh, of uh, four anteriors and the widow. Uh, there is uh, some foot infection. So, uh, so video process is uh, of uh, four anterior and from canine to the second molars each side. So we can separate the three processes. And the option is the uh, making of four processes connected the, uh, uh, from the second, uh, from the central insertion to premolars. And the and uh, and the second from the second more premolars to the second molars and the simultaneously in the right side together. So we can making a four-parted uh, 
uh, processes. So uh, after the surgery, we'll decide so which one is the best. But privately, uh, I prefer to make a upper four anterior and the three parts. But when I do communication with the process, prosthodontist, and he mentions to making a four uh, parted. So after that, we'll discussion, and finally, we will finish the processes depending on the situation. But anyway, we uh, depend on the bone conditions, and the, this pointy area's bone is a very sound, but in this area, some defect on the palate side, so we must do some bone graftings. And the implant side, we can uh, decide the good positions uh, because it depends on the instruction side. So maybe, maybe in this side is ideal for the placement of the implant. And also another side of the lateral incision in this side would be ideal. So uh, after the pilot ruling, we'll check the relationship, occlusal relationship with the rollers. And also the patient have uh, some temporary dentures with the 3D printings and the, with the denture base and the tooth all together. So it's a very strong. Mm -hmm. So however, we're making some over dentures and mm -hmm. the, due to thickness from the base to the tooth and good enough for the uh, bite force. And so it's a very strong. So as you see, and you can feel. And after the placement of the lower, for the positioning and the angulation of the upper anteriors. And so we try to do the surgery after insertion of the lower uh, temporary dentures. Uh, uh, the patient have uh, some parafunction habit. So uh, at the time of the if we have a friend to make a fixed processes in the lower, in future, like, we must consider about the, some parafunctions. <coughs> so, I, <have> <coughs> yeah. I don't know the some fist plus on this side after instruction. On the time of the <coughs> healing processes, so, so, so I will try to, to irrigation with the crow hydrant control of them. But on this side it is not related to with the fistula, so I will try to surgery. I will try to the surgery. The eye which is uh, good enough for the placement of the implant. So I will try to make a very small seminal range to check only to check the width from the buckle to palatal side. And as you see, the palatal side is almost close to the alveolar crest of the palatal side. With a very small incisions. Yeah, Dr. Zhang is starting to have a seminal incision on upper the right lateral incisor, number 12 area. And a little bit retraction. Yeah, retraction. Yeah. Ivory is very thick, mm -hmm. but I wanted to check the relationship of the real relationships mm -hmm. of the Ivory crest. Oh, but bone is very thick enough, so mm -hmm. we can press the 3.5 or 4.0 jelly implant. Yeah, then he mentioned about the fixed diameter, the 3.5 or 4.0. 4.0. Yeah, because so is extended enough. incision line uh, for the promoting the flap repression on the labial side. Uh, the bone is enough. The bone yes. is enough. When I evaluate vision on the CT images, mm -hmm. the real image is real thickness is much big, uh, wider mm -hmm. compared to the CT images. Yeah. Mm. So there is a defect. Uh, he mentioned about the bone qualities and quantities. Mm -hmm. uh, we already evaluate the bone qualities and quantities on the CT. Of course, the CT view. Drill, sometimes. Yeah. And uh, at first, I will try to position the drilling site with a high speed. Yeah. 
uh, he is going to use high speed uh, Fisher bar uh, making a starting point. After that, in the, especially in the upper anterior side, we, in a most of the cast, we tried to extend extension drills. Mm -hmm. And because with the extensions, we can see the much more angulations exactly. Yeah, yeah right. Uh, he used uh, extension bar, extension drill. Uh, this one is promoting the right angulation during the implant installation. When you have uh, just an anterior implantation, those extended gears are necessary part. Uh, 1,000 RPM with the cell line irrigation. So, using the pass pin yes. and checking the pass. Relatively good. Yeah, yeah. In looks the end good. of the side. Yeah, yeah it looks good. Uh -huh. But in this side, with the Due to a defect, we tried to a little bit more extensions of mm -hmm. the incision to the canine and the second the central incisor area. Yeah. Uh, little, little bit wider uh, incisions are mm -hmm. uh, About number 22 and uh, from the 22 and until the number 23 area. The crestal incision and two vertical incisions already done. And using the, this uh, periodon, periosteal elevator mm -hmm. for the plap uh, raising. And raise the plap. And... Uh, already raised the plap on the... Okay, so... Yes, bone condition is relatively very good. Yeah, uh, bone conditions are very nice. And socket, they're already healed, actually. The partial healed site looks like here. Uh, uh, it is, uh, uh, yeah, remove gran granulation mm -hmm. using the small round tube. Mm -hmm. But there is uh, some concavity. Mm -hmm. Some yeah, concavities about around the uh, uh, apex area. So, so uh, targeting the this lateral incisor area. So also using high speed paper uh, fissure bar for uh, the making the starting point. And uh, Lindemann drill, uh, checking the pass so the and angulation. Cancel load without any tools. Okay. So uh, when we use this extension drill, the great benefits to checking the angulation mm -hmm. during the drilling. Okay. So pass pin. We will try to a little bit adjust the angulations. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. Uh, he want to adjust angulation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, also, this time, uh, using the Lindemann drill. Lindemann drill is very useful and powerful to making osteotomy site when we have. Uh, Implant implantation. Yeah, so checking again. Yeah, almost done. All the yeah. parallelism very good. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Yeah, perfect situation. Try to check the mid line. Yeah. And the mid lines is a uh, mm, this side is a little bit distally positioned. Mm. Can I do more or less? Yeah. Oh my God, just. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Like you want a little bit more adjusting for a uh, proper uh, position.
The socket is uh, the important reference point. <laughs> yeah. the starting the implantation. The is good. So yeah, good. I will try to yeah next drilling. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, very nice. Actually, uh, he got the proper angulation and proper position. Number twenty-two area. When we have a uh, socket area drilling, the entry point, the starting drilling point, uh, will be a uh, six to seven millimeter from the gingival margin. It is ordinary yes. style. I, I was thinking to the three point five, but also four point zero would be fine. But mm -hmm. three point five would be much better. So. I will select the 3.5 tissue level, uh, bone level implant. Yeah, the, he mm. want to install 3.5 diameter mm. uh, bone level upright implant system. Mm. The yeah, very popular concept about the for uh, conserving the vertical bone height when you have an implant installation, the so horizontally two millimeter bone volume is necessary part. Mm. Yeah, for there is a very small gaps. Yeah. But it's, it's would it be fine with a small bone left mm -hmm. yeah. Especially I will try to Austin three collagens graftings on the small defect and also a uh, little bit augmentation on the labia side. Yeah. So when you have a uh, upper anterior area, three-dimensional positioning is very important factor for the proper prosthesis at the final stage. So uh, Dr. Zhang is checking and checking again about position and angulation and depth of implant uh, fixture. So as you know, the laparent line The depth of pictures, the three millimeter below adjacent cement enamel junction, CJ junction. But in this case, actually, uh, there are no more uh, natural teeth in the neighbor. So uh, Dr. Zhang is checking the, the red installed implant fixture site. So three millimeter below the CJ point. So it is equal to. Uh, implant, uh, the implant abutment margin. CJ is the same as uh, the abutment margin of implant. So, Dr. Zhang uh, checking the depths of implant picture. So, this one is 3.5, 11 millimeter uh, bone level implant of bright right implant system. Nine, nine millimeters. Ah. Nine uh, millimeters. Nine millimeter, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, eleven millimeter, I'm sorry. Yeah, eleven millimeter, yeah. yeah you're right. Yeah, so three point five diameter, eleven millimeter uh, bone level implant installed on number uh, twelve area. So the height of the implant is uh, positioned mm. is uh, uh, in a palate side almost the alveolar crest, but on the labia side around one millimeter below the alveolar crest. Mm -hmm. Also in this part. Mm -hmm. so, is uh, around the uh, palate side. 0.5 millimeters below the alveolar crest in the labial and the proximal side around the 1 to 2 millimeters below the alveolar crest. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Depth of implantation is very important for the emergency profile in future. Yeah. Uh, when you have a prosthetic uh, procedure, the emergency profile is very important to making aesthetic uh, visual. So, Dr. Zhang installed the one millimeter uh, below the alveolar crest. And this uh, number 
two areas, two millimeter below the alveolar crest. The healing abutment connection. So very simple and easy installation. Actually, uh, almost in, yeah. yeah. There is no palate defect on the palate side, but for the mm -hmm. preventions of any complication, I will do a little bit grafting on the palatal defect area. Yeah, parallel defect areas. As yeah, with the uh, osteon three collagen. Mm. Uh, osteon three collagen is a uh, very uh, useful and versatile bone grafting materials. Uh, it is very popular and uh, prevailed on the defect side, mm -hmm. grafting materials. Yeah, it is uh, versatile and prevailed uh, grafting materials and the around the spawn defect. Maybe there something. is a concavity, so, uh -huh. and a little bit worry about the, some resorption on the bone. Okay, so. And a little bit ostensory collagen graft with mm -hmm. the, uh, collagen graft coverages. Mm -hmm. The osteon tree collagen with collagen graft combination. Uh, this collagen graft is very nice and good. The biomaterials. Mm -hmm. yeah. And after that, I will finish the sutures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he prepared. He he is preparing the suture. Yeah, this one is modified uh, horizontal mattress suture. Now, Dr. Zhang is prepare, uh, prepare uh, using this uh, suture technique. Concerning about these biomaterials, uh, as far as I know, uh, this osteon tree collagen and collagen graft is uh, the, the very nice and uh, the host tissues, the friendly uh, grafting material. So a very nice, good healing situations. Uh, will be found uh, after using these grafting materials. When you have a GBR procedure where uh, the simple grafting uh, technique uh, tissue integration, very nice tissue integration properties uh, will be shown when you use this uh, osteon free collagen and collagen graft. So I uh, frequently use these uh, type of graft material, like this osteon free collagen and uh, collagen graft. Yeah, very nice, well done. The suture, suture about number 12 area. Uh, rotating the flap, actually small part of uh, keratinized tissues rotated from the labia to proxima. So uh, the nice adaptation. Uh, we can see the nice adaptation of uh, uh, the flap. So uh, this one is a vertical uh, matrix suture. You know, modified vertical matrix sutures are performing number 22 uh, installation area. Okay, so good adaptation, a very nice adapt the tissues and 
The apples, each part of the tissues are well adapted. If you do some bone grafting and the collagen graft, a little bit yeah. thicker. Yeah. So we do initial sutures. And yeah, these grafting the procedures blood. make a bigger volume That's on labia. Mm -hmm. So yeah, pretty good, looks nice, looks good the labial bone volume, they actually... Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, it is a modified suture technique. Yeah. So, the better adaptation, uh, these sutures promote better adaptation of each part of the flap. So, yeah, very nice, good the adaptations uh, can be seen. Yeah. yeah, this suture is authentic, authentic technique owned by uh, Dr. Zhang. So, yeah, very nice. Yeah. Simple. Yeah, simple. simple yeah. Simple but effective. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Simple and effective. Thank you. Yeah. 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 It's also the modified yeah, suture technique. Yeah. The adapt flap each other is more closer and closer. So. Uh, even though the 5 0 suture, uh, the effective uh, suturing with uh, the flap adaptation. Uh, so, okay, so. Uh, if you want to do one more suture, the distal part of uh, surgery site. So about the implantation the time, according to Dr. Hamerly's classification, the today's uh, the patient st uh, status was uh, uh, type uh, three actually. Uh, type three means uh, 12 to uh, 16 weeks after extraction, the partial healed situation implantation. So Dr. Zhang. Uh, having a patient about type 3 uh, classification. Uh, generally speaking, type 1 means immediate implantation. Type 2, uh, partial soft tissue healing, early placement case, about uh, 4 to 8 weeks after extraction. So uh, today, Dr. Zhang got the patient about type 3, a partial bone healing situation. And this, this one is PDRN injection for reduce uh, the inflammation and faster healing of uh, surgery site, uh, like uh, uh, like a gross factor, gross factor-like effect, actually. So, yeah. The most important effect of this PDRN is the faster the promoting the tissue healing. So, yeah, very simple and faster installation of two uh, upper uh, lateral incisor areas uh, fixtures. Already placement, and already done the here. And after finishing in the upper side, yeah. I will try to press the tool in the lower mm -hmm. molar area. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. yeah, even though without the guided surgery, just uh, the hand, uh, free hand surgery, the precise, the yeah, precise installations already achieved according to uh, 
the concept minimalism concept and the already uh, we got about this uh, positioning uh, key point factor okay mm. and i will try to do the initial drilling through uh -huh. the temporary dentures okay so uh, moving to lower uh, jaw the man mandibular the posterior mandibular installations uh, he is preparing about number uh, 46 areas implants uh, drilling the after connect with the uh, 3d printing denture okay number 36 first yeah. Yeah, using the guide drill uh, guide drill used here uh, guide drill the 1000 rpm Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, checking position Check and the, the press. Yeah, would be relative very good. Yeah, very nice. Mm -hmm. so Using this number. kind of technique, it gave us mm -hmm. uh, the proper position and proper direction. So after that, the mm -hmm. he. Ah, is making yes, uh, in season. Mm -hmm. uh, using number put, twelve put lingual position, the straight instance because no, no. the every condition was good. Mm -hmm. The small semi lunar incisions are performed about number thirty six area. <coughs> mm. Okay, 괜찮으세요? 좀 쉬었다. 좀 쉬었다. <coughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, in some case, in some case, as you know, elder person uh, have some coughing or some uh, mm -hmm. discomfort, the breathing, ah. nose breathing, so yeah, need more rest. Okay, so this patient, uh, 77 years old male patient, so. I will try to do bone checkings. Okay, so with make an incision. With checkings with a, yes, a little yeah. bit more vertical incisions. Yeah, he want to check the bone with us and bone mm -hmm. uh, qualities. Yeah, sometimes he is using the periodontal curette. Looks like here. Yeah. yeah. I think uh, he is a periodontist, so periodontal instrument is familiar to him. So he frequently use a periodontal instrument instead of uh, a big uh, surgical curette or uh, the surgery instrument. So, yeah, plat reflection and checking the widths. Mm -hmm. Bone is very good, so okay. I will do a little labial bone is thick enough, so mm -hmm. I will do a little bit positioned on the buccal side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he is uh, checking the little bone. More extended the incisions. Uh, yeah, he is planning the proper position. The actually, as you know, this edentulous area is very, very difficult, very difficult to uh, get the proper position. So uh, today, nowadays, uh, as you know, this, uh, the guided surgery is popular, so it is easy to get the proper positioning. But as you know, the, this pre and the surgery type, it is sometimes very difficult to cause up uh, dentulous uh, jaw, confusing the proper position. Uh, confuse, uh, make a confusing the proper position. But Dr. Zhang got the last of experience about the implantation on the dentulous uh, posterior, anterior, mandible, and maxillary. Uh, Lots of experience about uh, this area, so uh, he got uh, easy to get the 
uh, pro proper position and direction. So uh, we need the uh, uh, yeah we need the uh, experience. Uh, we have to know about the bone uh, morphologies, the edentulous areas, and uh, we have to know about uh, this posterior uh, resorption, resorting areas, bone morphologies. So uh, it is key point to have a proper position when you have a edentulous area implant installation without the surgical guide or any other instrument and uh, helping devices. The free hand surgeries. Yeah. Lots of experience that contributing to the free hand surgery. So uh, prep reflection uh, mm -hmm. for checking well, the width of the bone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, during this procedure, we can check bone qualities and bone quantities using instrumentation. So, the, we, uh, we have imagined about the uh, uh, drilling sequence. Uh, for example, underside drilling or regular normal drilling or oversized drilling, and all of that, the different kind of dr drillings uh, can be imagined uh, during these uh, checking the bone qualities. So yeah. I think uh, this bone quality is very good. So uh, Dr. Mm -hmm. Zhang is going to have a normal drilling mm -hmm. uh, drill sequence. Maybe. And in this side is an uh, initial drilling, a little bit uh, labial position. I will do a little bit change to the lingual directions. Okay. Mm. Yeah. yeah, as you see, in the, you can see some details. Yeah. Is there? Yeah. 혹시 감각 있으신 마취를 좀 하세요? So I, I want to mention about uh, this system. The denture is not the same uh, surgical guide, right? The surgical guide also, the top-down uh, style, the pro, from the prosthetic. 감각 있으세요? 좀 yeah. yeah, from the process is concept to the surgery concept. Yeah. The same as denture and uh, the surgical guide. Ah, So he is moving to lingual part. Yeah. So he is moving to lingual part, lingual position, a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So, can you see the uh, moving the, the circular movement, circular movement? So, so uh, pay attention about this circular movement when when use this Lindemann drill with a slower RPM with the saline irrigation. Yeah, the circular movement is very effective. Like a posterior mandible. Okay, so um, two guiding pin uh, installed osteotomy side. So checking the parallel. Mm. Because there are two overdentures for the overdentures. Yeah. So you must follow the, the parallelism together with the four okay. overdentures. Yeah. yeah, about the overdenture. The implant supported overdenture style. The two key factors are important. First one, the parallelism of each implant picture. Each implant picture should be installed with a parallel. Right? And number two, the same level. The sa uh, if you can, try to make the same level uh, of uh, the implant the uh, platform level uh, should be same is much better. Okay, so 10 millimeter, 11, 12 millimeter. Yeah. So he will... 4.0까지 갈까요? 아니면... 
4.0까지 가볼까요? Yeah, she will try number. Yeah, ring bell metal. bone is good enough. Okay. But due to your initial r i n g some okay. defect on the labia side, so okay. We, I will try the 4.0s. Oh, 4.0 diameter. Number 12. Mm. Number 12. Uh, 11. Yeah, so. Uh, it's a 11. Yeah, number 11. So I will press the 9 mm, it's a little bit deeper. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, make, he made osteotomy site, 11 mm depth, and 9 mm fixture installed. So 2 mm, about 2 mm, little bit deep insertion that was planned. So. This one is bright tissue level implant, uh, simple mm. but stronger, yeah, simple but stronger system. So this tissue level 4.0 mm. almost equal to 4.5 the bone level implant. You g e s t e n s i collagen a collagen graft n o k o p a k a Yeah. So due to a little bit easy so on the labia side, so. Okay. I will do Austin 3 collagen and the mm -hmm. collagen graft grafting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Austin 3, Austin, uh, Austin mm -hmm. 3 collagen and the collagen graft. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The same so as before. With the some i n t r a m e l l o penetration. Mm-hmm. Uh, promoting the newborn formation. So he start make a, a small hole, the c o r i c a l d e c o r i f i c a t i o n using high speed bar. Uh, this procedure is known as uh, promoting the newborn formation, cause of uh, uh, the blood supply from the marrow space. So, effort place the collagen graft. Yeah, collagen graft first mm -hmm. as a the barrier. Mm -hmm. yeah, it is not a membrane, but yeah. uh, working as a barrier. So, yeah, and the o s t e n t r e collagen, yeah. combination technique, o s t e n t r e collagen and collagen graft, yeah, gave uh, a big benefit about the promoting the vocal uh, bone volume, yeah, and uh, the preventing the resorption, and the maintain. The profile. Mm -hmm. So uh, he's showing, Dr. Jung is showing about the pin technique instead of suturing. So uh, this technique also authentic, authentic technique, authentic technique of Dr. Jung. Uh, he got the own technique about this uh, bone pic, uh, pin fixation. Ah, he's c h a k u b i a They got my letting. Bone is very dense. Yeah, so hard bone qualities. So uh, my let, I think a uh, li little bit stronger my letting is uh, needed. Oh, good. Wow. Yeah, just a two shot and got the fixation enough. Yeah, so a little bit longer, but pin is yeah. good quality. Mm -hmm. So very good, very easy to. Uh, a slightly longer uh, pin to fix the flap. Okay, uh, two shot and Five fix. Uh, then after that, actually, uh, this pin is uh, very useful using the flap, the apically positioned. Uh, the, for example, if we want to have uh, apically positioned flap, uh, there are many. Uh, uh, the considering many uh, kind of considering factors, sutures and flap positions and uh, the location. But, but as you can see, uh, pin is working as uh, the apically positioned flap uh, like uh, effect. So if you want to have a uh, apically positioned flap, uh, make a flap and uh, position apically, and the pin fixation. That's it. So, so simple procedure and useful. So I love this uh, pin technique also.
Okay, good. The additional suture yeah, is doing, additional suturing is doing uh, around uh, the implant fixture site. Yeah. Yeah. Another side. Dentural jaw, let me really practice. Okay, so. Uh, yeah. The, he uh, finished uh, number uh, the 46 area, the moving to number 36 yeah. area. So I think uh, he is doing the similar technique uh, on this side. But left side is very good in the inside the bone housing. So, uh -huh. yeah. so maybe I can Google it. I can try it. I can try it. 아니면 하우 리트라 틀어줄까요? 전체 리트라. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, bone, yeah, bone shape and bone profile is better than number 46. This area is better than number 46. Yeah. So, Dr. Jung is... Uh, uh, starting the drill. 조금, 조금 금방 끝나요? Yeah. Number nine, uh, uh, nine millimeter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, eleven millimeter. Mm -hmm. And this a uh, drill uh, uh, from the bright kit. So a bright uh, yes. picture system have an old number, 7, 9, 11, 13. So it is a different two. Yeah. 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 Different two, so supine or the implantium systems. Yeah, the supine have an even number, 8, 10, 12. Yeah, this one is old number. So the demarcation line, marking line of the drill are a little bit different. So, uh, yeah. uh, four point zero. Uh, yeah. We have the link to this three point five. So, but anyway, we'll try to press the four point zeros. Yeah. Okay, four point zero. Okay. Yeah, he's going to four point zero. Uh, yes. Yeah, four point zero. Drill. Uh, okay, fine. Until eleven millimeter. So, yeah, very nice. Uh, the 4.0 uh, will be fine. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Because the implant shape is the mid size is wider mm -hmm. compared to the crest size. So, okay. however, we press the 4.0, actually, the neck is 3.7 or 8. Uh huh, I see. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, that portion of picture slightly smaller than the body mm. size. So uh, the mm -hmm. platform top portion means uh, slightly smaller than 4.0, right? So uh, yeah. it is uh, another unique uh, a point of a bright implant mm -hmm. system. Yeah, already okay. done the picture and uh, mm -hmm. Sutures. Yeah, suture. Mm. Impression to champion. Pench of Adana. Today, sir, I will take you impressions or pantry. Jump the long or change. I take you. Taking an impression. What do you say, Dr. Lim? What do you think to taking a bite tray impression in the up? After sutures, yeah. we'll do considers about the impression in the upper anteriors, why not? Yeah, that actually depend on you, but uh, mm. I think in my concern actually, uh, uh, the, mm. today, t what about the today's impression? Yes. <laughs> yeah, taking impression today. <laughs> Cause of, uh, okay. the, yeah, even though it is not complete the procedure, uh, I think uh, uh. the the many patients, uh, sorry, many uh, doctors want to see 
the by the trade okay. registration procedure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will do considers. We are healing of the mother, killing the back of the Okay, so yeah, the PDRN injection yeah, for promoting the healing. Then chopper. Okay. So on the lower right side, we have there are some bone grafting. So, however, we lift uh, we lift the uh, base of the lower uh, base of the dentures. I will do a little bit over. Mm -hmm. Relieving. Yeah. Yeah. Dental relieving. Relieving. Uh, yeah, dental relieving In procedure. Reducing the acrylic. Uh, cause of the uh, right lower uh, posterior had the uh, bone dropping. I uh, got the bone dropping. So, uh, Dr. Zhang. It will be extensively. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, extensive relieving. Yeah, relieve the uh, dental inner portion, reducing the acrylic regime. I wish you. Okay. Yeah, so that's yeah. upper part too. Yeah. 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 Even though the free hand is surgery. Of the okay. yeah. yeah. I'll change the into the longos. Yeah. Yeah, longer for the impressions? Yeah, yeah, longer healing abutment. The actually, uh, scan abutment, yeah? yeah just, uh, just the healing abutment or the, the scan abutment. The impression, the code impression, I'm not sure the, uh, I think, uh, the scan abutment, a longer scan abutment. Mm, yes, uh, change into longer for yeah. the by the tray impression for the yes. temporaries in the yes. upper interiors. Okay. Ah. Hi, what's up? Try. Yeah. This one is uh, impression. The healing abutment, ah, yeah, impression abutment. Yeah. yeah, first, uh, for ah. the uh, bite tray impression ah. technique, yeah. first, uh, uh, longer, the healing scan abutment uh, is necessary. Ah. And, uh, ah. Ah. Yeah, practicing. Ah, okay. okay. yeah. 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 practice of patient. Yeah, open and close. Yeah. 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 Okay. So uh, loading, lo loading the lower impression material on the bite tray. We do putty and the right body is good enough. Yeah. yeah this one is light body of a bright uh, uh -huh. impression material. Uh, this ah, one is uh, with a little bit bleeding spot. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Light body injection type. Uh, uh, this material is uh, made, made by the uh, team company also. So, so and after that, ask yeah. the patient to push the chins. Okay. And finally, we can. Mm. Okay, so the chin is the chin. 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 Yeah. Mm. 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 Mm.
holding the chin of patient. Uh, and by himself. Did over, no. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The finally he got the bull's eye about upper to implantation and lower to implantation. So uh, we will have a, a break time uh, during the 10 minutes and I will be back in 10 minutes after. Thank you for watching.
Okay, thank you for uh, patient. Thank you for your patient. Uh, we will uh, provide about post-op review. Uh, this one is panoramic view. Uh, two implant installed on upper anterior area and another two implant fixture installed posterior mandible. As you can see, uh, two implant, a bright implant, uh, bone level implant system installed number 12 and 22 area. As you can see, uh, very nice, well done uh, implant placement. Uh, the contribute about the full uh, fixed type implant supported prosthesis. We got already six implant fixture, so uh, added two today. So totally eight implant fixture. It is enough for uh, fixed processes, as you know. So there are many various combination, the selection of uh, different type of uh, processes segment. Uh, already uh, mentioned about this segment about processes, the two posterior, one anterior, or two posterior, two anterior. So uh, there are many different types of uh, variant about processes uh, will be available. So what do you think about lower uh, mandible posterior? They are very nice, well done also. So two tissue level implant uh, fixtures already uh, installed, uh, combined with uh, already installed two anterior type ball attachment. So uh, parallel and the same level is very important part as I mentioned before. So what do you think about this Combim CT scan? Yeah, so uh, this one is uh, the, uh, the ideal position, the, the direction and depth. Yeah, all the three dimensional positions are perfect, even though the freehand style surgery. So connect with the long uh, uh, height of uh, scan abutment for a uh, bite impression tray uh, impression technique. Uh, this one is a 36 and 46 uh, posterior mandible uh, combium CT scan. The, even though freehand style, the proper position looks like uh, uh, guided surgery. So perfect position for the posterior number 36 and 46 area. The jaw relation is perfect, as you can see. So this one is bite impression technique. So uh, did you see, did you remember about the, how can we achieve bite impression technique uh, from the patient, right? So this uh, uh, photograph uh, shown to us about the bite impression technique in, from the uh, patient mouse. So after uh, this uh, bite impression technique with uh, impression material with the bite tray is very simple and easier compared to the direct intraoral scanning technique. Uh, the, this technique is available even though we don't have any uh, devices of, uh, about uh, any devices of, of uh, intraoral scan. Uh, we don't have uh, intraoral scan, we can do the digital scanning uh, using this kind of bite impression technique. So after taking the uh, impression, uh, trimming the excess of uh, uh, these lower areas, uh, cut, uh, cutting the lower excess, and then uh, put this uh, tray materials and with the impression, impre uh, uh, scanning the devices, the model scanner. So this scanner is more precise and higher magnificence, so it is more uh, efficient compared to intraoral scan, actually. So we got the finally scan data looks like here. So a negative scanning the convert to positive. It is simple to uh, using the, uh, the program. So the merging each other and uh, uh, using the, this scan abutment also automatically uh, from the scan data uh, from the library of the bright implant system of Dentium company. So it is easy to make uh, uh, digitalized. So finally, we get the uh, scan data from uh, the CAD scan, and the, finally, we got the scan uh, custom abutment with uh, zirconia crown uh, using this uh, CAD program. So this uh, 
uh, the actually it is not digital, not fully digital procedure, but we got the finally digital uh, data and uh, make a digitally uh, compromised, digitally promotion, promoting the processes. So, a uh, good question. Uh, actually, we, have, we got the good question about uh, this freehand surgery on the uh, fully edentulous area. Uh, question number one, when we have a real experience in implant placement, what should we be most careful about for refer to when determining the location of the implant in freehand edentulous case? The how can you achieve the proper position in, on edentulous area? The let, uh, let's think, let's see. Uh, when you have an uh, edentulous patient, if you, have, uh, if you want to make a uh, uh, full denture for your patient, what is uh, the big key point and proper reference point? First, midline, right? Second, I love nose. I love nose, very important reference line for especially upper anterior and also the anterior dentition. So, first to checking the midline, and the alar, nose of ala is the distal, very similar to distal uh, margin of canine, as you can see. So, uh, we consider about all of this reference point, uh, converting to proper, making a proper positioning of implant fixture, implant installation, right? So, and after uh, making this canine position, uh, using this ala reference line and midline, and another uh, position is easier to find out the proper position, like a premolar and molar. And sometimes we can use another uh, reference point, uh, mental foramen, on the radiographic uh, panoramic view, but it is not, uh, not the main point. This one is just auxiliary reference point. Just main point is midline and ala, and uh, uh, some of uh, the arch position is important. And jaw relation also the impor Im important factor uh, when you have a, a, a fixed type of prosthesis finally, right? A good jaw relation, you can do the fixed uh, type of implant supported prosthesis, but a bad jaw relation situation, you have to consider about uh, fixed or the hybrid type or obedential type, right? Okay, uh, for a long time, thank you for watching uh, this live surgery show. Uh, uh, see you in next time. Thank you. Bye.